I will sing Peace is Flowing. Peace is flowing like a river, flowing out of you and me. Really? 
in the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Some of the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them the parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my arms. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear out my arms and build larger ones. There I shall store all my ground and the other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now as for you, who have so many goods stored up for many years, rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, to whom will they be law? Thus it will be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, fortunately, the wet day yesterday, the rains continued through the afternoon, so we brought our driving mass inside so that we were not able to have mass outside. But our plan is to have, uh, we're going to try it again next Sunday at 5 o'clock. To have our outdoor drive-in praise and park mass, so that will be online once again. The opportunity to register, even if you register for this past week, please re-register because we don't know in terms of people's schedules or whether they've changed from one week to another. So there's a lot of people that put a lot of work into this, and we really like to see this happen. As I was talking to somebody. They had some people lined up who hadn't been out of their house and they would just have to stay in their car attending mass. So we want to make this uh, a possibility. And, uh, but, you know, though the, the brains won yesterday, but the bears won yesterday. Okay, so that, uh, uh, that's kind of something to talk about. And uh, if you are a Packer fan, or you're a little bit sorry that. So, but I just wanted to give you just to start the week with that announcement. So, spread the word. And today we celebrate the, uh, the feast day of uh, martyrs, uh, St. Isaac Jones and St. John Berboff, priests and companions. It was between 1642 and 1649. Eight members of the Society of Jesus were horribly tortured and killed in North America by Iroquois Indians. They were actually missionaries to the Hurons, and the Hurons and the Iroquois Indians were also fighting each other. And uh, the uh, missionaries were endeavoring to lead the natives of the region in true faith. So we had one, the priest Isaac Jones, Isaac Jones, who was, who was tortured and beaten and forced to watch as Huron converts were uh, mangled and killed. He went back to France and uh, Pope Urban uh, the Eighth uh, gave him permission to offer mass, even though several of his fingers had been cut off, chewed or burned off as part of the torture that he had received. And Father Isaac Jones, rather than staying safely in France, uh, returned once again at his zeal, led him back to fulfill his dreams, and he sailed once again for the mission to the Hurons. And uh, the first of the, of the Jesuits uh, to be martyred was Rene uh, but we have, so we have uh, Isaac Jones, John Buff also was a French Jesuit and was killed too. And uh, here's a letter from Isaac Jones to a Jesuit friend in France uh, on September 12, 1646, a month before he died. He says in his letter, My 
the church leaders, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit in leading their flocks. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For government leaders, international organizations, and for all who seek an increase in charity throughout the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all God's children who lack the basic necessities of life, may their needs be met and may they be blessed with the strength and support they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit guide our actions in making this house of worship a welcoming place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who have died in the light of faith, may they rest in the peace and love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all priests living in the season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Ever loving and gracious Father, may you humbly ask you that you hear and answer all the petitions we place before you today through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. And the praise and glory of the Lord. For our good and good of all the churches. And as we commemorate the passion of your martyrs, St. Isaac Jones, St. John the Buff, and companions, grant that through the sacrifice of the Lord, we may proclaim worthily the death of your only begotten Son, who, not content with encouraging the martyrs by word, strengthened them likewise by an example, who lives and reigns for God and the Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord and your Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, says Isaac Jones and John the Buff and companions, poured out by Christ to glorify your name. Shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble we still strength to hear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we have claimed Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. The lesson is here comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord. The Father of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit, the power that life to do them all, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered the willing man to his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was added into the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in my name. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come from you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church death about the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and his auxiliary bishops of all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, that fall asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who die in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and mercy on us all we pray. And with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him and in him, O God, mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. And And now let's pray for the coming of the kingdom in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we have the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your Son, The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I gave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious to man of peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for that will. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ. Lamb of God, take the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be in it. May the body and blood of Christ be saved in eternal life. Amen.
an act of spiritual communion. Uh, my Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you with everything else, and I long to receive you into my soul. I cannot now receive you in Holy Communion, but I beg you to come to me at least spiritually. I embrace you as already there, and I unite myself entirely to you. Grant that I may never be separated from you. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by the example of blessed Saint John the Buff, Saint Isaac Jones, and companions, we may bear in our hearts the marks of your son's charity and suffering, and ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. Then I will sing verse 2 of Pieces 1. Joy is flowing like a river, flowing out of you and me, flowing out into the desert, setting all the captives free. 